Fitt's law is also known as the speed accuracy trade-off. The law states that there is a correlation between the speed of a performer executing a skill and the accuracy of which the skill is completed. As speed is increased, the accuracy is negatively affected, and as accuracy becomes a primary goal of the skill, speed at which it is performed is negatively affected. Furthermore, as the size of the target decreases, the speed at which the skill is performed is, de is decreased, unless accuracy is not in question. At that point, the speed can be maintained while mistakes are made. There are two types of accuracy, spatial and temporal. Spatial accuracy is the accuracy involved in completing a task, say, reaching for a bottle, while temporal accuracy is the accuracy of the movement itself. This is referred to as movement timing. There are two variables that affect performance and spatial accuracy, size of the target and distance from the target. Novice performers should perform skills with a short distance and large target area. This allows for increased accuracy according to Fitt's law. As the skill level of the performer increases, size of the target and distance from the target can be modified. A more experienced performer can maintain accuracy with modification to size and distance of the target. Lauren will demonstrate how size of the target affects accuracy by reaching for four different sized bottles. The larger bottle will have a higher accuracy rate of clinching due to its larger size. Notice as she reaches for the smaller bottles, she needs to sacrifice speed in order to maintain accuracy. Robert will demonstrate how distance affects accuracy by reaching for the bottles at different distances. Robert is more accurate when reaching for the closer bottles. This coincides with Fitt's law. As distance increases, he is forced to decide between speed and accuracy. Temporal accuracy is timing accuracy. This is not how fast the task is completed, but rather the timing of the movement. Fitt's law does not govern temporal accuracy because as the speed of the movement is increased, the chances of successfully completing the task are increased as well. Fitt's law only governs spatial accuracy, while temporal accuracy is improved when the speed of the movement is faster. As you slow down, you allow more room for mistakes to occur.